today we're going to be talking about a very useful piece of equipment we have on our boat that we can use at anchor, under sail, when we go to shore, all the time, and it makes preparing meals super easy on really bright sunny days like today. This is our sun oven, and this one is the all-American sun oven, and the thing I really love about it is it is a box type oven, not the tube type, because the tube type means that all of your food is going to be a cylinder. With this, you can have normal, real bakeware and make a real dish in it easily. Plus, it's gimbaled, so you can aim it at any angle to the sun, but your food will continue to be straight up and down. Now, this is also really beneficial on a sailboat because if you're sailing and the boat's heeled over, your food inside the oven will be gimbaled. So that means that when you bake something, it comes out straight. It's not you know, a little wonky. We use this mostly at anchor because it's easy. And when we're at anchor, we do it on the deck because it's out of the way. And we just set it up with the sun, we aim it, and then we put some food in it, forget about it. And the really beneficial thing about using it while cruising and anchored is that it's not using any propane or in our case, alcohol to heat your food. It's just pure sun energy and you don't use any of your resources. Now we found that this works best if you're south of 40 degrees north. Once we've gone north of 40, there's just not much sun up there, especially in the late fall, early winter. So it's pretty chilly out there and this sucker just couldn't quite get up to heat to finish off a meal. But when we're south of 40, year round, this is working great. Today's October and we have it tilted quite far, but it's still getting up the heat and it'll be baking some chicken for us. Construction wise, we've actually really liked this guy. So we live in a marine environment and a really rough marine environment. We're sailing across oceans and we don't have a motor, which means that we get stuck out there sailing in the bad times as well. So this guy has been inundated and submerged in salt water by boarding waves multiple times. And after a boarding wave hits the boat, honestly, cleaning this guy up and getting the salt off of him is like bottom priority for everything else that has to happen on the boat after that. So this guy has been bathed in salt water and then sat salty for about a year and a half now. And you can see the mirrors are still in great shape. The box itself is plastic, which can't corrode. And then they used real wood for the lid. So this here is actual wood and it's really good quality wood. And I really like woodwork and I, I'm just in awe of the joinery on this oven because the wood is, there's really no reason it needs to have wood there. And they did wood and they did really nice wood. There is some light corrosion on some of the screw heads, but like I said, we've never oiled them. We've never really taken care of those screws and they've been very salty for a long time. So the fact that they're holding up as well as they are means that they're really high quality. So right now we're just cooking up some chicken and vegetables and stuff in the sun oven. We're gonna let it stay there for a couple hours uh, while we do other work around the boat and we'll come back to a fully cooked, moist, delicious meal. For the logistics of the sun oven, when you set it up, you need to aim it at the sun. Now that sounds simple enough, but exactly which direction is the sun? Well, one, look at your shadow and it's opposite to it. And then number two, these guys, you use them to aim. So there's the hole in the top and there's a hole in the bottom as well. And if the sun is going in and landing around the circle, you know that you're aimed properly. So these two aiming features have windows on opposite sides. So that way you can see how are you aimed from different points of view. We have the all American sun oven and it is a full sized regular oven for a boat that uses the power of the sun as its heat source. Now this is different from say the Go Sun oven, which is marketed directly at sailboats because there's no windage to it. But the problem is all your meals are tubes. So if it doesn't fit in a tube or it's not shaped like a tube, it's not gonna work too well because you're gonna end up with a tube anyway. This one is a box oven. So you can put regular baking trays in there and make a normal meal just like you would in the oven inside your boat. This means that the same bakeware that you use in your regular oven, you can now use in your sun oven. And the recipes are identical. There's no modification because of you know different sizes or different volumes or different shapes because it's a regular boxed oven. The really nice thing, this guy actually seals in. So when you put it out in the sun, you close it up, 
and any moisture that comes out of your food can't escape so therefore it keeps the moisture there and your food comes out super super tender I and mean, you can put chicken out in the sun and just leave it and then hours later when you remember that you put the sun oven out you can go check on it and by then it's totally cooked it is so tender the meat just falls off the bone and it's never dry which that is a huge thing for us because Maddie personally hates dry chicken so if we can have the chicken be nice and moist then we can never ruin a recipe as for storage we keep our sun oven in the cockpit right in front of the companionway because it's a very central location so whenever we want to use it it's right there and it's also out of the way so the big issue with the box sun oven style is space you, sailboats are notorious for being very tiny cramped environments so if you have a really big oven where do you keep it so that's why everything on a sailboat is kind of miniaturized because you need the space so if it's a huge item it's super useful but then you have nowhere to keep it so then it's not so useful so with this one it's big enough that you can cook a good meal in it but still small enough that you can store it properly in your boat when we're anchored we always set it up on the deck because we're anchored so the sails aren't out so we just put it on the deck and then it's more out of the way when we're under sail we set it up in the cockpit for two reasons one we're working in the cockpit so therefore we can also be working on the food and maintaining it and you know, adjusting it if we need to and the second reason is the cockpit is more protected from the wind so on the deck it gets all the wind and there's really not much holding it to keep it from you know falling over falling overboard we're in the cockpit it's surrounded by the cockpit combings so it's more protected for it the reason we don't do it in the cockpit when we're at anchor is because we're lounging around we're we're not working anymore so onto the deck it goes now those big mirrors look like they'd be a huge issue with wind and they are if the wind is above 25 knots if you have 25 knots of wind just don't even think about it it's the mirrors will hold but they'll just be flapping and it's I don't like seeing it do that so we don't use it in wind above 25 knots in those conditions we just use the regular oven but if you have less than 25 knots of wind, just put it out. The mirrors do just fine. And we just chalk the base of the sun oven with ropes or pillows or just whatever. We just chalk it around it and then it does fine. It doesn't tip over, it doesn't roll, it doesn't rock, it just works. So now it's time for our love list and our hate list of the sun oven. Starting with love. We love that it uses zero resources. It just sits out there, collects the sun, and bakes our food. Nothing required. It's so cool. We also love that for an oven, it's very compact. And for a boat, it's easy to store, which is really important. It keeps all the moisture trapped in. So the lid actually closes on a gasket. So that means that we can put frozen food in there, and if you haven't seen our video on Lazy Chicken, just check it out. But we can put frozen food in there, and then it'll thaw the food and then bake the food until it's so tender it falls off the bone, so you never have to worry about overcooking something because it just gets better with time. There are no fumes or smells that are associated with it, which is great because it's just out in the open air using sunlight to bake. It's really durable. We've had this thing for over a year, and we've not really been the nicest to it as far as keeping it clean and salt free. And it's not dying from rust. The wood on it is holding up really well. And the majority of the thing is actually plastic, so it can't corrode and it can't die. So it's been really good in that regard. Now for the list of negatives. And even for your favorite things on the boat, there are going to be drawbacks. So here are the negatives of the All American Sun Oven. Now it's important to remember, if you can live with the negatives and they don't bother you, that means that you're going to love all the positive things. So we're just going to get all the bad parts out in the open. Firstly, it takes a really long time to bake anything. Secondly, it's difficult to use the mirrored flaps when you're actually underway sailing. So it's a really great thing for anchored, but sailing can be a bit rough. Yeah, I tried it one time. It was blowing over 25 knots and the mirrors, they were holding but they were just like shaking in the wind. So I actually took the mirrors off thinking, well, we have plenty of time and it's earlier in the day, 
so we'll just have it bake just from the light that comes in through the front. And it wasn't enough. It got up to like 250. So I had to put the mirrors back on to finish baking that. You never know if the weather is going to turn, so you could start off baking on a beautiful sunny day, and then one cloud form, and it just sits in front of the sun, and the oven cools down to like 170. It's just not going to happen. So that's when it's good to have a backup oven. And you can check out our review of our Rego oven in its video. Though we talked about how the compactness of this oven was a good thing, the size of it is also kind of a bad thing because it is another bulky object that we do have to carry on the boat. Yeah. In this way, the positives do outweigh the negatives, but it's not tiny. Yeah, and especially when you get those mirrors out, it's big. It takes up the cockpit. So those are our positives and negatives about the sun oven. And if you have experience with a sun oven, we'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, you can find the link to this one in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.